Our today's guide is about one of the hardest, respectable, and iconic heroes of Dota 2, Invoker. Players who prefer to play this hero are considered to be very skilled, as the hero has 10 spells in total, which you have to invoke during fights, but back in Dota 1 days, Invoker had slightly more spells. 27. Role in the game. Thanks to many different spells, Invoker is actually a quite versatile hero. His main role is a mid laner, but he may also be played as a roamer or even as a hard support. The purpose of Invoker in the game can vary depending on his desired skill build. The job of Exhort Invoker is to provide damage, while Wex Invoker is more focused on ganking and disabling his opponents. Abilities Cold Snap Cold Snap is based on Quas. Cold Snap freezes the enemy on cast and then every time you deal any damage to the target, Freeze Interval cooldown decreases with levels of Quas, which may help you to prevent enemy heroes from using their defensive spells, such as Blink. EMP EMP is based on Wex. The spell burns mana of enemy heroes and restores half of it to Invoker. The more points you have in Wex, the more mana you are going to drain. Sunstrike Sunstrike is based on Exhort. The ability deals pure damage in a small A. O. E and works globally. This helps Invoker to secure kills all around the map. Sunstrike can be improved by a Ganim Scepter and transform into another ability, Cataclysm. Cataclysm casts two Sunstrikes on all enemy heroes around the map. Ghost Walk. Ghost Walk is based on Quas and Wex. The ability gives Invoker additional movement speed and slows all targets around Invoker. Enemy Slow is based on Quas, while Self Bonus based on Wex. The spell is good both defensively and offensively. If you play Wex Invoker, you may start using this spell quite early into the game to move around the map faster. Tornado. Tornado is based on Wex and Quas. The ability creates a tornado, which moves in one direction, lifting and dealing damage on all targets. This is a key ability of Invoker, as it allows him to set up combinations with many other spells. Forge Spirit. Forge Spirit is based on Exhort and Quas. It summons a unit, which deals decent damage and decreases the armor of the attacked unit by one with every hit. Forge Spirit is very good for securing very important early last hits during the laning stage. Ice Wall Ice Wall is based on Quas and Exhort. The spell creates a wall in front of Invoker. The wall applies an insane slow debuff, while also damaging impacted targets. Alacrity Alacrity is based on Wex and Exhort. It gives bonus attack speed and damage. It works on allied heroes and units. The spell is good for ensuring last hits in the lane and making early kills. You may use it on siege creep or allied units or heroes to significantly increase the pushing potential of your team. Chaos Meteor. Chaos Meteor is based on Exhort and Wex. Skill deals a lot of magical damage in decent AoE. The spell works best in combination with Cold Snap and Deafening Blast. Deafening Blast. Deafening Blast is based on all three aspects of Invoker. It disarms all opponents on its way and deals a decent amount of damage to them. You may improve this ability with the help of level 25 talent. Items The item build of Invoker varies depending on his skill build. However, starting items remain the same. Just like for any other intelligence ranged hero, Invoker should get himself a circlet, two mantles of intelligence, iron branch, and a fairy fire. In the early game most items you should get are the same for both builds. Both Exhort and Wix Invoker should purchase two Null Talismans and a Magic Wand. These items help to improve stats and survivability. The difference is that Exhort Invoker should go for Power Treads, while Wex Invoker is better with Face Boots. The reasoning behind this is that Exhort Invoker lacks attack speed, this is why he finds Power Treads more appealing. Invokers of both builds need to buy items, which will improve their survivability and improve killing potential. Exhort Invoker should get himself an Orchid Malevolence and Black King Bar, while Wex Invoker would benefit more from having a Spirit Vessel, Medallion of Courage and a Force Staff. In the late game, Exhort Invoker should finish Bloodthorn and follow it up with Octarine Core, Scythe of Ice and an Assault Grass, with Shiva's Guard being a good alternative. Wex Invoker needs to finish Solar Crest and follow it up with Scythe of Ice and Shiva's Guard. Usually, by the time you get these items the game is going to be finished. Gameplay even though Exhort and Wix builds are very different, the playstyle of both builds actually is pretty similar. Exhort Invoker is definitely stronger in the lane but requires more time to come online. Wex Invoker, on the other hand, may start ganking relatively early into the game.
Let's break down both builds one by one. So as we have mentioned, Exhort Invoker is insanely strong in the lane. With the help of Forge Spirit and later Alacrity, he is able to ensure a lot of last hits and denies. His biggest strength is that he is able to help his teammates all around the map with the help of Sunstrike while staying in his lane in the meanwhile. In the lane, once you get to level 2, aim to use Forge Spirit as often as possible to ease the process of last hitting creeps. Pay close attention to the minimap and help your teammates to secure kills with Sunstrike. Aim to use Sunstrike for the last hit of the enemy hero. Since Sunstrike costs a lot of mana, it may be not profitable for Invoker to use it very often, especially if he can't get any kills out of it. Level 6 is your first power spike. At level 6 you should get a point in Wex and open an opportunity to cast Chaos Meteor and Tornado. With a simple combination of Tornado, Chaos Meteor, and Cold Snap you can potentially secure an easy kill on the enemy mid laner. Play around the timings of Siege Creeps. Use Alacrity on the Siege Creep to take down enemy towers quickly. Be active. Days of passive farming invokers are gone. Even with Exhort build, the hero is able to play very aggressively and provide a lot of impact in early and mid-game fights. Wex Invoker. Opposite to Exhort, is not as strong in the lane. He lacks damage, which can lead to lost matchup in the lane. The other downside of Wex Invoker is his inability to farm quickly. The hero is very dependent on making successful ganks. But once the hero gets himself several charges on Urn of Shadows, he may become absolutely unstoppable. Thanks to Ghost Walk, Invoker is very mobile. He can move around the map quickly and create lots of space for the rest of his teammates. Tornado is your key ability in Wex build. Start using this spell actively from the very beginning of the laning stage to ensure last hits of ranged creeps. Once you get 3 points in Wex you may start using it in combination with EMP to burn the mana of your opponent. Do not sit in the lane for too long. Starting from level 7 start moving actively around the map. Your goal is to create as much space as possible for your teammates. Be as annoying as possible, prioritize ganking key enemy heroes. Tornado into EMP into Cold Snap is your easiest and yet the strongest combination. Ghost Walk is your fourth priority spell, as it allows you to move quickly around the map and escape in critical situations. Allies Encounters Exhort Invoker is very good in combination with heroes, who can lock down opponents for Sunstrike or Cataclysm. Heroes, such as Beastmaster, Faceless Void, Bane and many others with the ability to keep a target in place works excellently well with Invoker. Wex Invoker is a space creator. He works best with strong late game carries, which can use the space to farm up and come to late game with many items. Spectre, Medusa, and Alchemist are great examples of such carries. Best counter to Invoker is Faceless Void, as time dilation may completely ruin the gameplay for Invoker. This is Exhort Invoker skill build. This is Wex Invoker skill build. This was the beginner's guide to Invoker. I hope this video will help you learn Invoker. Please like and subscribe for more videos of Dota 2 guides, tips and tricks. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you in next video. Bye bye.